Yeah. So this is a this is a wall decoration. So someone basically um, gave money to the synagogue, and then this is celebrated uh, by this wall decoration being made and put up. So it's very much like our own Wolf Institute donor uh, page we have here. We should probably have that illuminated as well. But you know, these things are now in correspondence. Um, and um, it was quite important for people to be seen as donors. I mean, it was an important part of the elite of, of the Jewish community. And one of my very favorite donors to the community is uh, the businesswoman Al Wuxha. She's very, very special. She is a, she's an, she, she's an sort of a newcomer to, 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 to Cairo, to Egypt. She doesn't have her immediate family there, which means she's less restrained. Very often we can be much freer if no one is sort of looking after us or looking uh, you know, out for us. So she becomes a businesswoman in her own right uh, and she becomes divorced. Um, she falls pregnant by a man who um, she's not married to, which is a massive scandal. And um, she pulls off a really neat trick to make sure that the child that she carries will not be considered a bastard. He will not be considered someone who doesn't have a father. So she basically invites her lover to come over for a nice rendezvous and leaves all the doors open. And then while they are, you know, sort of in her boudoir um, making love, the elders of the community basically burst into the room and discover her with her lover there, thereby establishing the paternity of the child. So, and she sort of um, comes up with a plan together with some, with one of the scribes who seems to be a confidant of her. Big, the big scribes of the Geniza are called Hilib and Eli. And Hilib and Eli basically, you know, probably sort of conceives that plan together with her in order to make sure that her child doesn't, you know, become a, a known bastard in the community. Um, and she's excommunicated for her outrageous behavior. But in her will, she leaves money to all the three different synagogues in Cairo. So she, she really hedges her bets. She makes sure that, you know, all the places will commemorate her uh, uh, and sort of remember her uh, because she stipulated money to the, to the synagogues in her will.